All right, take two. I'm gonna try this again. Uh, all right, so today I want to install Rust and start using it and start trying to learn it. I just created a video trying to install it and realized that my face covered my terminal, so the the terminal was you couldn't really read it, anything. So I took my face out of the video. Yeah. Um, Rust slang. You can search for animals anything you can come up with it but the rust programming website is right here they have a learn tab and oh, i guess this is one of the mobile views hey responsive website nice click on read the book read the book starts with a forward you click on this hamburger thing you can see all of the things you can go through and scroll through the forward i did read it's nice to read i can't remember any of it um I have a horrible memory, my apologies. But the get it, getting started section. Let's start your Rust journey. There's a lot to learn, but every journey starts somewhere. In this chapter, we'll discuss installing Rust on Linux. I know there are other operating systems in that sentence, but I don't, I don't care about those two. Next. So yeah, this video is just the installation. Uh, some good information. Let's say the first step is to install Rust. We downloaded through the we download Rust through Rust Up, a command line tool for managing Rust versions and associated tools. You'll need you'll need an internet connection for the download. Scrolling down, something that guarantees nothing really. Note command line notation. Don't copy that thing. Okay, if you're using Linux or Mac, open your terminal and enter the following command. My terminal already open. The command, I guess I can use this thing to copy it. Hey, copy. And then I could just paste it. And it, oh, that's so annoying. So in the command line notation, they say, in this chapter and throughout the book, we'll show you some commands used in the terminal. Lines that you should enter in the terminal all start with this thing. You do not need to type this thing, a dollar sign. Oh. Um, mainly because if you type it, then you get an extra, this, this doesn't work. That's not a command. That's not part of the command. But when you copy it from here, it copies it anywhere. So let's up and just delete that thing and actually run the command. downloading okay uh, so what does it say here welcome to rust this will download and install the official compiler for the rust programming language and its package manager cargo it will add cargo rust rust up and other commands to your cargo bin Car to cargo's bin directory located at said path this path will then be added to your path environment variable by modifying the profile file located at marcus.profile. If you couldn't tell, my name is Marcus, by the way. You can uninstall at any time with Rust Up self uninstall, and these changes will be reverted. I just ran that command, so it seems like they were reverted. Proceed with installation by default, hitting one. I already hit the one enter so it looks like it is downloading it yeah it has to download it all over again this could take a while so, okay we downloaded component rust c which is probably the compiler rust std not a disease but um the standard library and that's almost done Downloading cargo, Rust stocks. Now it's installing them. All right, let's see what they have over here. Uh, so I'm waiting to see this line. Rust is installed. Now, great. Almost there. Okay, okay. Rust is installed. Now, 
Great. To get started, you need cargo's bin directory, which is at that location, in your path environment variable, which they said they did for me. They said they added it to my that profile. So let's check that out. List dot profile. And as we can see here, it has been added. Okay. So now that that's there, they said if I do not want to restart my shell, I can source it. Uh, what else is over here? Installing Rust up on Windows. Don't care. Updating and uninstalling. I can run the update command. Why not? Don't copy. Paste. It says I'm up to date. That makes sense because I just installed it. Uh, I'm not going to run the uninstall command, but I've done it once and it does what it says it does, at least seemingly. Everything was uninstalled anyway. Um, rest version 1.32.0 January 16th okay and this is the last command I run for the day looks like we have something called rust up doc please and this looks like it opened the documentation, which is based on this thing, local to my file system. So regardless if I have internet or not, I should be able to open this and read it. Um, I haven't read through this yet, so I don't know what's here. But yeah, this looks, this looks, this looks like it has stuff for, that's good for me, that I said absorb and take in. All right, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have rest installed. Peace.